Welcome to the Total Destruction tutorial series. In this series, I will take you step by step through the process of creating production quality destruction effects. In Volume 5, we will learn to use the Flip Solver, Whitewater Solver, and Ocean Spectrum not only to create common water effects like waterfalls, splashes, and ocean surfaces, but also learn to use them in a creative way to make different types of effects like snow or even abstract and magical effects. In chapter number one, we will talk about principles of the flip solver and how data flows from sourcing to the final meshing. We will also talk about static collision objects and adding pop forces to our simulation. All this while creating a cool waterfall, which is a very common task in production. In chapter number two, we will take a look at the all-important ocean source and creating water tanks with dynamic collisions to create a huge splash. This will be the base for later creating our main destruction effect. In chapter 3, we will take a close look at the white water solver and white water source to add yet another level of realism to our splash simulation. We will also make use of some simple VEX code to fine tune the effect. White water is extremely important to create realistic and believable water simulations. Chapter 4 is all about ocean spectrums, which is the main method of creating large extensions of water. This is a very powerful yet often overlooked tool. We will not only go over most of its parameters, but we will also learn several ways to mask, mix and combine different spectrums to avoid tiling and repetition. In chapter 5, we will create a very interesting abstract effect while we use a flip solver in a more experimental way. We will use several existing pop tools to shape the effect and add custom coloring to the particles. Finally, in chapter 6, we will dive deeper with a production shot. We will put all the previous knowledge into practice and along the way, we will learn new but fundamental concepts like the use of narrow bands, boundary layers, and extending the simulated water surface. We will also look into several ways of optimizing the resulting caches and create a custom visualization tool for our white water particles. After watching this tutorial, you can expect to be very comfortable creating water simulations in Houdini, not only for destruction effects, but for almost all purposes. You will have a solid understanding not only of how to use the shelf tools, but you will also be able to create your own DOP networks from scratch. And along the way, learn to optimize your files and look out for common pitfalls when creating effects in production. My name is David Adan. I am an FX TD in Cinesite Montreal, and I will be your guide through the exciting path of destruction effects. We have a lot of new things to learn, so let's get started.